The president of Kyrgyzstan made some very controversial comments at a press conference saying that women who wear miniskirts do not become suicide bombers. This is President Albazbek Atambayev, who said that women are more vulnerable to Islamic radicalization if they put on Islamic dress. He also attacked those in his country where 80 percent of the population is Muslim who were critical of women who wear more revealing outfits. And the reason for all of this commentary to even happen is that over the last several weeks, there's been this government sponsored campaign to put up banners dissuading women in the country from wearing Islamic clothing, particularly the hijab, niqab and uh, burqa. And in advance uh, of a visit from the German chancellor Angela Merkel, this was sort of uh, scaled up. And some of the banners were criticized for the design of the banners, which showed both women in Islamic dress and women more casually dressed. And there was big criticism. And responding to that, President Atambayev said, when we erected banners, some smart people appeared and started pointing at miniskirts. Our women have been wearing miniskirts since the 1950s, and they never thought about wearing an explosive belt. He then portrayed the wearing of some Islamic clothing as not only being out of step with the contemporary culture of the country, but also as potentially dangerous. He actually said the following, and I'll put it up on the screen for you. Terrorists are insane people. Clothes also can change one's thoughts sometimes. When we were searching for prisoners who had escaped the detention center, Melis Turgan Bayev, the former interior minister, came to me and said that they had been eavesdropping on telephone conversations of wives and mistresses of criminals. Their wives and mistresses wore sacks on their heads and they wanted to organize bombings. Some people said these are sexist comments. Some people were angry. And this does bring up a big correlation versus causation issue, right? Mini skirts and radicalization. Uh, are they connected? Do we see correlation? Is there causation? Back in 2014, the president also spoke about this and he was a little bit less hyperbolic and maybe maybe closer to what he really means saying that it's not conservative clothing or Muslim traditions that he has a problem with, but what he described as the Arabization of society and the deprivation of the Kyrgyz nation of its language and traditions. I want to stake take a, a step further, if I may, Lewis, because this could have turned into a sort of sexist and one sided discussion. Men in mini skirts also don't don't become suicide bombers. And I, I'm sort of being facetious. But my point is, it's not because of mini skirts that you see suicide bombing or because of a, uh, a lack of mini skirts or whatever the case may be. I think it's more that if mini skirts are an acceptable part of society for men or women, I don't think it is actually related to to gender. Uh, you're less likely to be in a position to be radicalized in the way that we've been seeing. Yeah, his his choice of words is strange, but yeah. it's about combating radicalization and this uh, an extreme form of the Muslim religion. And I get it. And it's important for a government and a president uh, to be proactive about these things, assuming they are not uh, of the same mindset as the thing they're trying to fight against, for example, Turkey. Uh, and so. Uh, poor choice of words, but the message I understand, and um, it's 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 good that he's making people uh, think twice about uh, slamming casual dress. <laughs> yeah, slamming mini skirts. It's also a practical matter, Jason, because if you are wearing a mini skirt, it becomes way high, way more difficult to hide a bomb or a suicide vest. There is a sort of pragmatic aspect to this. Yeah, very much so. And you know, to take that a step further for the sexism part of it, you know. As a man, I could wear a cod piece with the WMD to cover my scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, things have taken an interesting turn here. Uh, I'll mention one other thing, which is would this campaign actually just divide people more, right? I mean, even, even if th this is correct, like, oh, yeah, when you see many skirts, you see less radicalization, whatever. You do also have to consider is this a campaign which, by inflaming people, will help or will it actually just divide people further? And that's my my biggest concern with the campaign. I'm not in any way offended by it. Yeah, he's only inflaming one side and that which is, happens to be which 80 happens to of the be country. The, the side that will that will bomb you. Uh, but still, it, it needs to be said. It needs to be done, especially if there is a trend in the country uh, where where they are regressing and uh, you got to do something about it. Big picture. 
when we talk about how to prevent radicalization in the first place, I don't think mini skirts is the answer per se. But a liberalization when it comes to social values is a pushback against radicalization. So in that sense, I think we have to think about what types of uh, values and ideas should be promoted in order to push back against radicalization.